Ladies and gentlemen, this is Steven once again. I'd like to make a video. It's exactly um, almost 3 o'clock. Uh, we're looking at, yeah, it's 3 o'clock. California time, Pacific Coast time. I want to make a video today talking about uh, the majority of people's health, okay? Okay. A lot of people in America, in the United States alone, I'm not talking about all across the world, but I'm talking about the United States alone, have a high case of blood pressure problems. Okay. This is almost like a commercial, sort of like. The reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people are unaware of hypertension. Okay. Hypertension affects not just small people. Okay, not just big people, but small people and big people. It doesn't matter what size you are. It can happen to... It doesn't matter what you look like. It can happen to your, uh, your dog. Okay? It can happen to your cat. It can happen to the best... It happens to the best of us, is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? But what I'm trying to tell you... I, so I saw on the news today, for instance... Okay, blood pressure pills causes dementia. Okay, now every every one of us know what dementia stands for, right? Where she, where you get up? It's for older people, people that lose their mind. Okay, they no longer know who they are. Okay, what happens? They forget where they live, who they are, what time they did something. And if they even did it at all, you know, like checking the mail once or twice. It's not obsessive compulsive disorder. That's something different. Okay, what this is is something totally different. Your brain chemistry is not firing right. It's misfiring. Okay. See, that's what happens with depression. That's what happens with chemical imbalances. Okay, such as serotonin, dopamine. You know, reference, all that stuff, you know, all the good stuff you need for blood pressure, uh, happiness, you know, which is endorphins. You know, you can cut yourself, just, I'm not trying to give you no guys no ideas out there, but you can cut yourself and you're dark to make endorphins. You know that, right? Okay. You can make yourself happy just by cutting yourself. Serious. A person can make themselves happy just by cutting themselves. If you're depressed and you cut yourself and you've got a psychological thing, it feels good. That you just made yourself an endorphin. What endorphin causes happy thoughts? Okay. I learned this off a doctor. Okay. Plus years of experience. Okay. Now, what I want to talk about today. It's about what everybody goes through. Everyone struggles. Okay? If I'm talking funny, it's got a gun in my mouth. Okay? I'm sucking on, on the, uh, <laughs> the sugar. Yeah. Now, in fact, I'm going to take it out. It's bothering me. Okay, anyway, it's not that I don't like gum or anything. Okay, I wanted to show everybody my new phone I got yesterday. I got my new phone, guy. Yes, and Misty, if you see this, you will see it too. If you watch my videos. A brand new phone. Or, yes, I did. I got the best phone there is. You can't tell me this is no cheapie either. It's not no cheapie. It's the most expensive phone you can get where I'm at. It's a G5. No, I'm kidding with you. It's a 4. I'm kidding with you guys. No such thing as a G5 yet. Not I know of, anyway. Right there. Take a look at that booger. I never had a G3, much less a 4, yeah, much less a 4 or 5, whatever they got, you know. This does everything. It does your taxes for you by itself. It does your driving for you by itself. All you have to do is tell you where you want to go, like to Las Vegas. You you go back, go to sleep, and it'll drive you to Vegas. Okay, you push a button on here, and it'll, it'll bring your car to you your doorstep and you all you have to do is have the guy at the door and load your stuff into the car that's how easy it is 
No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm joshing with you about the cars. No, it doesn't drive your car to you. I'm, I'm just kidding with you. There's no such thing as that yet. <laughs> Not that I know of anyway. Okay, it does most things. It tells you how to get to Las Vegas. You know, right, left. You know, at this street, this street, and all this other stuff. So, yeah, it seems like there, yeah. Okay, um, I just want to make a video about... Uh, Okay, nervous system, central nervous system. I don't talk about that too often. I don't ever mention central. You know how you say central line? Do you know what central line is? Anybody know what a central line means? Anybody? I'll give you a few seconds to answer the question. Anybody know what a central line means? Okay, central line. Okay. It's almost like X in math. Okay? If you're good at algebra, you can figure that out. A central line. Okay. Anybody know what a pixel means? Okay, let's get to the chase. Okay, let's stop playing these mathematical games. Okay, enough of the math mathematical games. This is serious. Okay? I'm going to tell you a little story. This is not a story. This is true. Okay? Listen carefully. Okay. Um, my mom had to live with that stuff towards the end of her uh, end of her years, towards the end of her life. Okay. She had to have a um, a pick line. That's what they call when you have. Okay. Listen to me carefully. When you have a nurse that comes into your home, she administers medication. Okay. But the only thing is, it's my job. Or Cindy's job when she was because she was she was staying with my mom, okay, taking care of her day and I was helping too because I was doing so, you know naturally because I I mean there's no way in hell Cindy could lift my mom with a back like hers and as I fucked my back up that's why my back's fucked up too not just because of that because I screwed it up by showing off and everything else. But anyway, it's a long story, and I don't want to brag too much cause about football and all this other stuff about how my days were and with the cheerleaders, because I had a lot of fun and everything else. But anyway, now my days, not, I mean, my days are numbered just like anybody else's. Okay. Yes, I like the FBI. I like to watch, uh, what's it called, Criminal Mind. You know, that guy's pretty cool, the smart one that's got a, you know, a, high, you know, 170 on his, uh, GPA, whatever, I'm going to call it, uh, smartness, or smart ass, but anyway, um, <clears throat> a pick line, okay, is seriously put into your arm, into your, okay, it's, it takes about an hour to put it in, okay, <clears throat> you see when I put that in, you have a chance of an infection up to 50% or more. Okay, about 65% of an infection. We're not talking just about infection now. We're talking about major infections. You're looking at antibiotic infections like MRSA. Okay, MRSA. Hep hep hepatitis. Okay, do you know why I said hepatitis? Why did I say hepatitis? What causes hepatitis? Dirty needles. Okay, you get a pissed off nurse. You get a jack off nurse. Sorry, kids. Lipstick. Strike that from the record. So, I mean, if you have parents, if you have any kids in the, in there, please take them out whenever I say stuff like that. What I'm trying to say basically is monkeying around. Okay, if you get somebody, it's unknowledgeable, not paying attention, they're mad at the world just because of their bad day, and they put in a dirty needle just to be smart at it, try to be funny or whatever, it, it hurts the family because what happens, it goes to one person to the next, and if you, you, you don't realize what you can actually get yourself into, it's good to have a pick line, but it's bad to have a pick line, because well, when you have IVs for a certain amount of hours, I'll tell you why the pick line for it. Okay? I'm going to get to the chase right now, and then I'm going to stop this video. 
you start sagging, okay? The needles and everything in your arm start sagging. You get flow by this. Okay, I don't know. You look it up if you don't believe me. You get flow by this. You get all this vasculitis. There's one for you. You want to look it up? Look it up. Vasculitis is vascular problems. And you get vascular disease. Uh, you get all these diseases which causes organ failure later on. Okay? No, I didn't just pull this on my ass. Okay? Like I did yesterday when I was doing something. I was talking to somebody about uh, exhibits. Okay? I, I made that up yesterday about exhibits. Okay, that was all made up on purpose because somebody from another country was trying to give a baby to us once again okay and I don't think it's legal because number one here's what I believe you gotta have both sides collaborate okay you have to have a meeting between the child the parents especially and a walk around and the paperwork and not only that you have to have lawyer to lawyer country to country immigration statuses and um, not trying to discriminate you know the color or race I'm not I'm for black kids just as much as I am for white kids okay I don't care if you're Chinese Mexican whatever color you are you welcome in my home okay kids are kids to me okay I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you're purple, green. Well, I worry about your health, but I don't care if you're purple, green. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying. It's a figure of speech. What I'm saying is you're welcome in my house. Okay? Because we love you for who you are, not for what you look like. But I'm starting off on a good point, too. What if the organization because they were false before had a bad name before if they lie once they can always lie again just because you go through a church doesn't mean it's really a church and even if it's a church you can also tell a lie say take my word for it you know how can you take somebody's word for it anybody out there raise their hand tell me why you could take somebody's word for it just because they, I told you so Anybody out there ever guilty of that? Take somebody's word for it just because I told you so? That this person's name is this? I mean, do you believe everything I hear? I don't, I don't believe everything I hear. That's me. I don't believe everything I hear. If I believe everything I hear, then I don't believe uh, Mr. Ed was alive and in this house. Okay? Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video and I got to go, okay? And by the way, for somebody who took it seriously, Stacy, if you're out there and you see this, please take a chill pill. Because what I said yesterday should mean shit. Okay? You need to calm your ass down and uh, don't take it so seriously just because I'm talking about another country that calls me the devil themselves, okay? I'm not the devil inside just because I'm. In Part of the USA <clears throat> does not make me the devil, okay? I am not the devil. Like I just said, it doesn't matter if black or white, whoever you are, disabled or not disabled, just like uh, Obama said, okay? It doesn't matter what color you are, you're eligible to be in my house as long as the law says you are allowed to be in the house, okay? Now, that's the end of the story. I'm uploading this video now. Now, if you don't like it, flake off. Okay, I'm out of here now. I'm uploading this video. See you later. Take care.